I want to address some issues with reviewing media. Now, this is something that I've been thinking about for a long time, and earlier I've tried to sometimes address this in comment sections, but I feel it's more effective to go into here, g cover I hope I can cover it properly. Basically, provided you accept the idea of capitalism as a strong driving force, as not necessarily something always or purely good, but as something that is a worthwhile way to approach life, a, a philosophy that works. And that is where, if, if, you, if you do not agree with capitalism, then this is not an argument for you. I have no, I have no qualm with you, but my argument is, is based on that. And I, I would say that we, to some extent, at least agree to capitalism, agree to the free market, living in the modern world, living in a democracy. And this... Thus, we do accept that every, every item put out there for purchase, for consumption, is to be either chosen and appreciated, chosen and disliked, or not chosen at all. And thus, ideally, theoretically, the superior product thrives, the superior brand thrives. And I like to apply that to, I, I personally try to apply that to everything. I like to think that though not perfect, and though at times brutal, which some of the best philosophies can be, capitalism is nevertheless a good way to remove the less compelling items. This is, this is especially clear when we deal with monopolies. The quality is not ensured because there is no competition to drive the quality to, uh, yeah, skywards. And as such, when capitalism can be applied, it is often very useful in determining what is of a superior quality to other things. and. I would now like to apply capitalism in this video to media. We, every one of us today, use media in, in one way or another. And I say this as something of a dinosaur. I barely have a cell phone. I use a computer, but I couldn't really, same with the internet, I'm, I don't, I am not well versed in these things. I just know how to use them. And yet I do use them because you can't really media is necessary in today's world and and the use of media is necessary to get by today. And as such it becomes necessary to use capitalism, to use some method. And I again propose that of the ones we know, personally I've found that capitalism is the best. We need a way to find out what is good media and what is not. And the problem is that media is something that people often 
attach emotions and identity to. I once read a brief mention in an article of a woman who had broken up with her boyfriend because he had never watched The Postman Always Rings twice. Now, I can't fault her for having good taste in movies, but it does show, and I'm not, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with her or that action, I'm just saying it is symptomatic. Her identity and her emotions were very, yeah, were very attached to that. And I suppose I should, I am not claiming I'm, I'm above that. If you, if you claim that The Terminator, the original movie, is not a great film, if not even more than a great film, you and I are going to have words. So we, we feel like when media is criticized that a part of us are criticized. It is, it is sometimes the same with religion or with other culture. If someone is very comfortable and familiar with something, be it culture, religion, or a certain media, it, they, they sometimes have trouble listening to negative perspectives on the same. And I will, it is of course, I'm not referring to trolls as any kind of, trolls are not kind of, if, if you're intentionally trying to bother people, then, you know, your, your opinion, your words about the medium, the, the piece of media is not, the, those words are less, <laughs> they mean less, I think is what I'm trying to say, than an honest critic. And honest critics are invaluable, in my opinion. And I don't say that because I am a critic. I consider myself a critic. I am a critic because I consider that to be accurate. And I'm not going to go into some personal account. But once again, it's what I've found to be accurate. Not only in person, but also looking over history and looking at what countries thrive and which do not. It is important that we criticize. And the... And this is again, I, I, I've just recorded my review for Stoker and I mentioned that the the first the only way to avoid your early work to you know reveal weaknesses is to not show it to anyone basically and the moment you put out something to show to others then it is to be criticized you you don't get to put something out there and then claim that that it can't be criticized. It can be lied about, but it can be criticized. Now, I suppose that about covers the emotion, emotional aspect. What I'm trying to say is, in part, critics do not have a responsibility to avoid upsetting fans of the media that they are critiquing. And it is not the... The critics... A critic does have responsibilities, but that isn't one of them. 
the responsibilities that a critic does have are to take into account the circumstances of the, the media. You, you, it's absurd to criticize you know, a movie before, I think it was 1929, for not having speaking lines because that was when that was before sound became part of that that was the that was when the era of the silent film ended the budget is another thing where it is you, you can't compare an indie movie to a big big budget hollywood movie unless the movie itself is trying to compare itself to you you might say that it's to an extent it's it's all right to consider el mariachi on the level of, of, of to to compare it to contemporary not necessarily Hollywood, but he was trying to make something that would come close to that. And that was where his efforts went. I suppose uh, maybe a better thing to say is that judging that movie based on it's trying to tell you a story you'll never forget is perhaps not quite fair because that was not what he was trying to do. He was trying to make an action movie and the story was um, somewhat secondary and a critic is has a responsibility to be honest I already mentioned it's you know you shouldn't lie about the work but honest about good and bad I I, I consider it a stronger review if the reviewer admits something that was not as good, which again, this this is of course seen through the lens of what is what is reasonable to compare it to based on budget, based on when it was made, was it a troubled production, these sorts of things. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.